Uh, finally, topic number three for this week is a really interesting game in the NFC North. And I think two teams that have really shown the strength of their programs over the first few weeks of the season, these teams are a combined five and one. Uh, that's the two and one Packers and the three and oh Vikings. The Packers have shown the strength of their program through Jordan Love's injury and not having Jordan Love the last two weeks, being able to win games the way that they were able to win them and rush for 449 yards the last two weeks with Malik Willis as their quarterback and everyone on each of the opposing teams that they played the last two weeks, knowing exactly what was coming, whether it was the Titans last week or the Colts the week before. Um, and those teams not being able to do anything to stop the Packer run game, I think speaks to the job that Matt LaFleur has done in building the run game and the offense there last week, the, 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 the defense under new, under, under new coordinator, Jeff Halfley really came alive. There was Jair Alexander had a pick six. So you've seen the strength of the Packer program. And when they do get Jordan Love back, what a big deal that's going to be that they have now sort of developed an ability to win left-handed, an ability to win a different way because they didn't have Jordan Love out there. And then you look at the Vikings and you look at where they were last year and where they've been the last 10 years. And you could make the argument that their most important offensive player of the last 10 years was Kirk Cousins. All due respect to jo Justin Jefferson, Cousins was around for a bigger chunk of that, and he is the quarterback. Um, and then you could argue that their most important defensive player of the last decade was Daniil Hunter. They lost both those guys this offseason. And not only have they effectively replaced those guys on the roster with Jonathan Grenard on defense, Andrew Van Ginkle on defense, and then, of course, Sam Darnold and J.J. McCarthy before he got hurt on offense, it doesn't look like they've missed a beat at all. And I just look at the job that Kevin O'Connell has done in getting Sam Darnold up and running and ready to go and in a position to build on some of the moment, momentum that he had at the very end of Carolina, if you, you really look closely at it. And then, you know, through a year of learning and sitting and playing just a little bit in San Francisco and take that to the field in 2024. Um, you know, I think it's been obvious the job that, that Darnold's done by the numbers, but there's also little pieces of his work that I think really show how far he's come. Yes, it's a great situation, um, but if you look at that Niners game and when they were able to beat the Niners, um, there was a play in the fourth quarter that really closed the Niners out where Justin Jefferson wasn't out there, Jordan Addison wasn't out there, TJ Hawkinson obviously still hasn't been out there this year, and he was able to lead the team on a sustained drive down the field against an elite defense without, without having like that great group of weapons around him. So, um, you know, I think the, the work that Darnold's done, um, you know, really is a testament to, to, to what's been built there the last three years in Minnesota and the, the, the schedule too. being able to beat the Niners in week two and beat the Texas in week three says a lot for where, the Vikings are. Now, the big question going into Sunday is going to be about the health of the two quarterbacks. My understanding is there's no question whatsoever that Sam Darnold will play. He'll start on Sunday against the Packers at Lambeau. Much more of a question on Jordan Love's availability. And that's really going to come down to his ability to protect himself. And, you know, the last two weeks coming out of the injury in Brazil, the Packers have kept love alive and so they kept love alive even you know in that 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 first week after he got hurt nobody thought there was a great chance that he would play but they legitimately wanted to give him a chance to show that he might be able to get out there leading into the colts game they gave him a little bit more serious of a chance last week um, and really in keeping him alive what they wanted him to show was that he was healthy enough to go out there and protect himself that'll be the determining factor in whether or not he plays on sunday i know the vikings are expecting to see him and are preparing as if he's going to be the packers quarterback it's still an open question uh, but i think there's a decent chance that he winds up playing on sunday so you know big showdown big early showdown in the nfc north obviously the lions um, are the defending champions of that division and um, they're the team to beat until um, until they're knocked off of that perch. And they played well early um, this season and really bounced back in a, in, in a big way last week against the Cardinals in Arizona. Um, but this is a big game in that division as well. And again, so much of it's going to come down to that quarterback position. Will Jordan Love be available? Will Sam Darnold be himself playing on that knee? 
We shall see.